I've got this like big oversized sort of like denim shirt thing that I'm gonna try and paint. This like big oversized sort of like denim shirt thing. What the fuck am I talking about? Today is a therapeutic project. Usually when I paint it's very formulated and very controlled and because I am a perfectionist and I've recently discovered that I sort of approach a lot of my artworks like this so Instead, I think this is just going to be a fun project today and I'm just going to do something simple. Um, I looked on Pinterest and I've seen a couple of artworks which are just sort of like abstract line artworks which are just so simple, at least for me, to do. So I'm probably going to do just do a full coverage design on this on this oversized denim shirt and we're just going to see where that takes me. It might, it may turn out really bad and I'm sort of excited for that. Yeah. This is what the shirt looks like. It's quite baggy. I think it's meant to be like a men's. So just lots of fabric to sort of work with. So I've just got my shirt here, I've decided to rearrange my um, room just so I guess optimal light. Usually I do do a sketch but I figured screw that as much as I want to plan this I'm just not gonna. Um, the only thing I will be using is probably fabric chalk just to map out a couple of lines and then I'll probably just... Some painting I enjoy more has been very um, intuitive. I'm just hoping that this is what this project is going to be all about. I'm just going to sort of go with the flow and see what happens. And if it's hideous, then it doesn't really matter because what really matters at the moment is that I am healthy because this pandemic is chaos. In regards to color choices, I'm probably just going to go for a easy black and white. I do like asymmetrical pieces, so I'll probably just do a plain easy half half black, half white, and have it split in the middle at the back. I'm going to be using a pretty thick brush because this is a lot of fabric. And if I don't, I'm going to be here forever. So I didn't really record the first part of this design, but I basically just followed the line that I chalked out and sort of developed this design by just gradually adding different lines to it in a sort of consistent flow. You'll sort of see later on how I build it up a bit better as I do different streams. I also decided to do a pattern where I had a black alternating black and white streams instead of having half of the shirt white and half of the shirt black so
I'm being really quiet because it's a really weird conversation happening next to my office space and they all of a sudden just went quiet. <laughs> Finished the first side of the front um, and I ended up doing something on the sleeve here which works out perfectly because we've got a black stream here which will come around and connect and it will connect up the top here just as the two sort of white streams will. And that also means that we can actually do a black stream here and do alternate alternating colors. So this sleeve will be black, which will be really awesome. This project actually took me a little longer than I had anticipated. I thought this would be very easy to do just because it was very repetitive work but it was it, it proved to be quite time consuming just because of the coverage of the design being around the whole garment so I ended up splitting this up over a week or so and just doing one stream of lines at the end of each day and it was quite sobering because it's very repetitive work but it was nice to sort of paint in a different style and not just have to think about colors and graphics and trendy things. It was more of a very abstract sort of pattern and I sort of enjoyed being able to try something new like that. As you can see with this project I had to chop and change between doing a flat lay painting and then also putting it on the mannequin when it came to joining all of the streams up together like this and in between that just making sure that I didn't smudge any of the paint because I'm very bad at waiting for paint to dry so I, I did that a lot and I didn't get any smudges thank god. finished all of the, well I finished putting down the main sort of streams of lines, now I'm just going to have to go through and uh, just sort of make things a little bit more cohesive, so I don't know if you see on this like, whoa, excuse me, if you see like here, like this is a relatively straight sort of, like there's not much many curves or bends in this one say in contrast to this line so I'm just gonna go in and sort of beef up the curves a little bit because then what I'm going to do is as a finishing touch I'm probably gonna go in with maybe a pink or a red or just a color I'll probably change my mind as to what color I use but I'm going to outline all just the outside of each of the different streams which I think could be really effective because it will also highlight the sort of negative space between the black and white streams so it would just add a little bit more I guess contrast and interest and I just think it would be really nice to incorporate 
just a little bit of colour, but like very subtle. And then I think we should be done. So we've just got that little bit to go. Very therapeutic just to like paint in this style and not have to worry about, I guess, just anything other than lines. And you know, even if you do make a mistake, it's very easy to sort of cover it up when you're painting like this because it's more of a collective piece. I'm definitely about to get my period. <laughs> so these are the two colours I'm, I'm tossing up between. So they're basically the same sort of colour, it's just that one is sort of shimmery and one is just, I don't know what the opposite of shimmery is, a matte colour. Um, I really want to do this sparkly one, but I, <laughs> I think I'm just going to go with just the normal straight opaque colour. Um, I think I will regret this one less. So I'm still not quite sure what I feel about adding the pink to this garment. Uh, originally when I envisioned this piece I actually wanted there to be lots of different colours, like each stream a different colour so it was more of a psychedelic abstract style shirt. But because I sort of went with the monotone black and white colour palette, I'm still not quite sure whether I like the pink with it. I think that was just me trying trying to inject some some sort of colour in, but um, let me know what you think. I'm still very partial to this decision I made, but it would be interesting to hear from someone else that just has sort of seen the process of this shirt and has less of an attachment to it. project has been a little bit of a, a journey, I guess you could say. I honestly jumped from liking it to not liking it, to liking it, to not liking it, to doing the pink around the outside and thinking, probably shouldn't have done that, but I think you can appreciate the garment in its, I guess, artistic worth in a way that it, it's all hand painted and it's a lot of, well, a lot of lines. I don't know if I'd wear it out. I think it'd be really cool to see someone do some sort of like hip hop routine with it on. Uh, not me, obviously. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, but it was really good. Just a little bit of an experiment, just a little bit of a fun project, really. I had this shirt hanging around for so long and I was just having a lot of turmoil trying to figure out what I was gonna use it for. So it's really good that I could just pull this project out of, out of the blue just as something, as an experiment. But it feels good. I like it when I can wear something of mine and you feel good just knowing, knowing the artwork that's on your body, you know?
and I've always loved that about my stuff you know you put something on and it's almost like a a physical sort of thing that you feel and I guess that's just with any sort of luxury clothing or I guess anything that you you perceive as I guess luxurious you know and it makes you feel and act and be a different person so I definitely feel that wearing this especially with all the details the sleeves turned out really cool oh, I'm so exhausted I thought the fringe was gonna work. <laughs>